there are 25,000 students that go to PCC. Now, when there's that many people in a small area, it's really easy to forget that everybody is a unique person with their own individual hopes and dreams. So, because of this, frankly, what I see as an epidemic, I'm going to tell you about two of these students. First, I'm going to tell you about my partner, Gregory Balthazar. Then I'm going to tell you about myself, Dominic Hart. And then finally, I'm going to close with what I've learned from this whole experience. <sighs> so, what do I know about Gregory? Well, I know he has two sisters and one mother that he lives with in Pasadena. He's a full-time computer science major here at Pasadena City College. But all of this is pretty superficial information that you can probably find out just from some small talk. So when I started talking to Greg, I wanted to get into the deeper aspects of his life. So I asked him, what do you think is the meaning of life? And he said, I think it's to find one's path, which I really respected. I also asked him what he thought was the most important trait for an individual to have. And he responded, respect for oneself and respect for others. So that's what I learned about Gregory. Now, here's a little about myself. So rather than give you like a general overview about myself, I think it'd be a little more helpful to delve into two aspects of my life that I think really describe my personality and who I am. The first is my love for Fight Club, and the second is my religion. So, Fight Club, where do I start? This has been my favorite movie since about eighth grade, and when I first watched it, it was my favorite movie because of the fight scenes. But then, as I kept watching it, I really started to empathize with the main character, and I really liked the whole message of, you know, flipping off the man, so to speak. Moving on, my religion. I'm probably the only person I know that made up his own religion. Now, without going into too much detail, I basically believe that all living things collectively make up what one could call God. But I'm not going to go into too much detail because I'm not trying to convert anybody. So, what did I learn from this experience? Well, besides speech and interview skills, I learned about Greg, which I truly believe is something that without this assignment, I never would have gotten the opportunity to do. There are 25,000 students in this school, so the fact that I was paired with one of those students and given the opportunity to learn about him just boggles the mind. So, in conclusion, Today, I gave you a brief glimpse into the lives of two PCC students. So, in the future, if there's one thing you can take away from this speech, it's that you should always remember that people are their own unique, individual, fleshed out people, and you really shouldn't be too quick to judge anybody because they will surprise you. Thank you.